Every time that you tell me you want it I can read your mind and I'm not even on it And now I see it, feel it, clearer than the morning If you're gonna go then give a warning I don't wanna be the rock that holds you down This ship has run
push you away But you pull me close Cause you always know How to love me when I don't Happy Sunday, everybody. Uh, I'm on the road back to my house from tour, and I just have to say thank you all so much for making this world tour possible and for coming out and supporting from Asia to Australia to Europe to America, just to see every single one of you all and to hear your, your stories of how you overcame and, and triumphed throughout COVID, to see you again and to see you all thriving. It just means the absolute world. Also, I have to say, performing Kevin's Fifth on this tour, it was such a dream come true. This is something I dreamt up from last year. And to see you all rock with it and give standing ovations, and it just means the world because it feels like a baptism into even what I've been called to do as a musician. And shout out to Lucas, who's our you know, musical director, and also Matt, to see him come up and level up and play drums on Kevin's Fifth, y'all. It's just, it's Hi you guys, it's Scott from Pentatonix and I have very exciting news. We got to collaborate with the iconic legend himself, Andy Grammer. He's so amazing. We did a song with him called Expensive and it is out now and I think you guys are gonna love it. It is thick with harmonies and it's a good time. Love you, Andy. Love you guys. Go listen. Tell me what you think. One, two, whoa.
Tracks and we're gonna reveal them by taking away the ones that's not out of these. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hi. The first song that is not on the greatest hits album is. hits over the years plus eight new songs that are really really good and it's one of these but some of these aren't on it for sure and we're gonna reveal that now the first one that we're gonna reveal that's not on the new album is oh. Oh. I do love this song. It's a really I had a Mandela Effect moment where I thought we did that, but it's the other one. We did a Santa. 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 All right, one more. Give it to me straight. Give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, you darling Christmas. I'm not this year. I'm not this year. Won't be had a Okay, one more part. We'll see you next Bye. time. Bye. Bye. Welcome to part four of revealing our track list for the greatest hits album. Woo, woo, These are the ones woo. that are left. And boom, boom. today we will find out which ones are actually going to be on the album. The first one that will not be on our greatest hits album is... Oh. Oh. Sorry, Swifty. Oh. Sorry, Swifty. Oh. Sorry, She wrote a number one hit at that age. <laughs> Kiss from a Rose. Yay! Yay! You know it's not a Christmas song, but it does have a lyric that says, When it snows. 
We have Little Toy Train. It's a, it's a, it's a new rewritten version, but it's a... Oh. It'll make you want to drink. Please Santa, please. It's a new original. An original. We have Darling Love Christmas. I can't believe we haven't done this yet. So good. Yeah, that's it. The snow falling down. We have like <laughs> So then we have a little... Mm -hmm. With Elvis Presley. Oh. Ever heard of it? So here's the surprise. Your so imagination, Christmas time is here. Had a baby. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I gotta so hear it. I'll play it for you. Thank you guys. Okay, so our greatest Christmas hits album comes out October 20th. We made a TikTok and had the cutest surprise. You will be successful. I feel like there's Scott. Who looked the best and which two of them are successful? That sounds like a Kevin. Mitch or Scott, Mitch or Scott, baby. Kevin said that. Why does everybody think it's me? It's not me. If you look good, you will be successful. Do you know what I mean? Can you get a slow motion of me getting out of the car? That is Matt 100%. Is it Scott? I think that's Scott. I don't know, maybe me? I may have said this. <laughs> no, this is hard. I like your glitter. I wish I had glitter. You know that, Scott. Don't play. I'm gonna go with Scott. Said it to Kirsty. I like your glitter. I wish I had glitter. We are at this really, really nice place. It's really hard to get a reservation. Like, you have to make it with some bands. Taco Bell. <laughs> I feel like that's Mitch or Scott. Scott, 100%. That's Scott, 100%. That is Scott Point. I don't know his middle name. Scott Bartholomew. I could talk about every day, probably, so have a good day, you guys. We are at uh, this really, really nice place. It's really hard to get a reservation. Like, you have to make it like weeks in advance. It's called uh, Taco Bell. <laughs>
like you're like in love with me or something. Oh! Do you know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak who's a less hot version of me. That is so fetch. You want to do something fun? You want to go to Taco Bell? You dirty little liar. Feeling our cover in three, two, two one. one. This started years ago. I accidentally trapped a fly in the freezer and Mark was like, oh, we must save it now. <laughs> and so we opened the freezer, saved the fly, and I was like, how long do they even live? So we Googled it. We found out that the shortest living creature is a mayfly. It lives exactly 24 hours. Which is so cool to us. So we were like, we should write a book about it because about this little mayfly who's born, he's going on an adventure, but he doesn't totally fit in with the other mayflies. And then he meets this other mayfly that doesn't fit in and they fall in love. Oh my gosh, Mozart. <laughs> he said, don't spoil it. I did. Guess what it's time for? To reveal the oh my cover. Gosh. Three, two, two one. one. <gasps> oh my god. How lucky am I? Can you believe that? It's so beautiful. That's me and that's Scott. I'm oh, excited. You can pre order it now. It has a song that goes with it that you're hearing actually right now. And um, we hope you guys love it. Definitely so was the illustrator. She killed it. Henry Holtz, thank you for believing us. Uh, and we wrote it together. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. I've, I feel so much love and support as I've listened and watched and read so many of the comments and the messages that you all have sent. I, I'm overwhelmed with love and I, I feel like I'm, if I'm honest with myself, I feel like I'm just starting. I, I feel like I've got so much to give in the tank just all for the purpose of hopefully putting a smile on y'all's face and telling a little bit of my story and just showing y'all more of what's inside of me just for the purpose of sharing love. So I just want to say thank you. 35 hits different with the family. I'm thankful. I'm so joyous. And uh, on to the next, everybody. On to the next. <laughs> See y'all soon. Friend just sent me this video. When I grow up, I would like to be a pop star. I don't know what to do. I want to see you. I'm in that. That's like a really good melody. I just tuned it up ever so slightly. I don't know what to do. Put a little synth under it. I don't know what to do. I want to see you. I'm in that. Maybe a little. I don't know what to do. I want to see you. I'm in that. Add a little. Now I just need something to sing about. What is she singing here? I don't know what to do. I'm Maybe just singing what she sang originally. Don't know what you do, but I want to see you before midnight. Yeah, you got me breaking all my rules. Cause I want to stay to the daylight. Baby, no, I don't want to party. I just want your body. Leave the mother girls alone. It's honestly such a miracle <laughs> that we're still a band today. Not because we're horrible people or we had like horrible fallouts or anything, but um, I think it's just a really beautiful testament of how emotionally mature we are and um, how much we love each other. Can you feel the love what people might not tell you is that being in a group is really hard. Yeah. And especially when you start so young, you still kind of have the mind of a child and you're still grappling with your ego and you're insecure and that makes you sort of not able to be as eloquent when dealing with people that you work with. Pentatonics. <laughs> So many choir kids, so many acapella kids, so many theater kids and musicians like that really looked up to the show and they had something that they could really relate to. Oh. And we, di we didn't have anything 
before that. And so to have this thing off was so special. We were green and we were naive in a really, really beautiful way because we didn't necessarily know uh, the way to make a path. We filmed things on an iPad like at first because after the sing-off, you know, we won and we were like, now we are famous. And that's not how it was at all. We had no engagement on Twitter. Yeah. Everyone moves on to the next thing. I feel a huge turning point in our career was when we put out Royals. Everything that happened after that, I feel like started snowballing. And we'll never be royal, royal. And that was like, we were the cultural moment for a second. Yeah. It was so cool that we had YouTube to like post videos and then when they went viral, those millions of people that saw us were like, oh, I liked that band on the sing-off and it was easier to get fans because we had that exposure. But if we didn't keep going and just like putting stuff out, even if it was horrible quality on an iPad, everyone would have fully forgotten about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey Courtney, it's Pentatonix. First of all, we want to give a shout out to PTX Weekly News. I check it all the time to stay updated. Um, and we love you so much. Thank you for all your support.